Are you someone that can't sit still and is always fidgeting or moving around? Well, in this video, what I'm going to do is look at the benefits of non-exercise activity thermogenesis, otherwise known as NEAT, as a mini fat loss hack that can help to improve body composition in the long run. What's up guys, my name is Lucas and I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health and my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So if you're looking for the very best health information on YouTube, please do subscribe down below. It does help me get my message out there to really showcase my knowledge and share what I've learned over the years. So in this video, what I'm gonna look at is the benefits of something known as NEAT. NEAT stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. Now, this concept is best described as the energy consumed by activities that do not include sleeping, eating, or exercising. So in other words, non-exercise activity thermogenesis is really referring to all of those like micro bits of movement that don't really contribute to your major or total daily energy expenditure. We can see here that our total daily energy expenditure consists of five key components. We have our basal metabolic rate, the thermogenic effect of food. We have the non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which we're focusing on in this video. We have exercise and then excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, otherwise known as EPOC. Remember that the thermogenic effect of food, the most thermogenic food available is protein. Protein actually warms up the body and actually burns calories, a lot more calories than, than fats and carbohydrates when we consume it. So here's an example of the benefits of actually incorporating some sort of NEATs in our daily life. We can see here that a 145 pound person burns approximately 102 calories an hour while performing their office job in a seated position, but burns 174 calories an hour if performing those same exact office duties whilst standing. Now, 174 calories may not seem like much, but it translates to 18,000 calories or a little over five pounds over a 50 week work year. By comparison, that same person would need to squeeze in 60 30 minute runs at five miles per hour to achieve that same caloric burn. Here are some other examples of neat situations. Examples include things such as standing, cleaning, shopping, climbing the stairs, gardening, generally rocking the foot or tapping your foot to your favorite song, fidgeting, or playing a musical instrument. So let's understand NEAT a little bit better. This particular study was titled Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis, a component of total daily energy expenditure. Essentially what they outlined was to not underestimate the impact that this NEAT has on our general caloric burn. We can see that just by sitting, standing and walking, this can increase uh, energy expenditure above resting levels by five to 10% in some situations and 10 to 20% in other situations as well. So the takeaway from this is to become a fidgeter. If you're somebody, you might already be a fidgeter. You might already be flicking your pen all the time. You might always be just unable to keep still. I'm personally someone who is generally a fidgeter. In fact, that's probably the reason why I bought my treadmill desk so that I can actually move whilst I'm working. But you might know someone who's like a fidgeter in general and they can't sit, keep still. Perhaps they can get away with eating a bit more. Maybe that's the case. This particular study was titled Chair-Based Fidgeting and Energy Expenditure. What the study evaluated was the impact of a chair and an undertable device that were designed to promote fidgeting whilst being seated. The author's hypothesis was that an under table leg fidget bar and or a fidget promoting chair will significantly increase energy expenditure, which is pretty much common sense. And the results of the study were quite striking. Uh, energy expenditure increased significantly whilst using either the under table leg fidget bar or a fidget promoting chair when compared to a standard chair. And the results were quite dramatic. The chairs and devices that promote fidgeting increased energy expenditure by 20 to 30%, but obviously did not affect heart rate. Authors noted that dynamic sitting may be among a lexicon of options to help people move whilst at work. The takeaway of this video is to just not underestimate the impact of micro amounts of movement during the day. Obviously, there are many other fat loss 
strategies, being in a caloric deficit is the number one focus. However, just implementing a little bit of fidgeting may be able to, just in the long run, add to your body composition goals. Most people want to generally lose body fat. And generally speaking, you know, it's gonna to help to improve our metabolic function. Don't underestimate the impact of NEAT. Obviously, there are other strategies we need to incorporate as part of our fat loss regime. If you found this video helpful or useful, please do like this video. Please again, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see some more cutting edge health information and do check out some amazing resources on my website where I've got some really awesome products from around the globe. So thanks everyone for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.